Hey YouTube, fellow knife lovers. Uh, this is going to be my uh, first part of my third case. Let me turn this fan off real quick. <laughs> that fan's a little noisy. Uh, getting kind of hot down here in the south already. It was about 70, I don't know, 78, 79 degrees today already. Anyway, I want to get this started because it takes a little while. So I'm going to start with the left side. I'm going to go with this one first. This is a right one. I do believe. I have went with the brown G10 scales. I believe they're G10. Got the black blade with the black clip and the black hardware. Thought that was nice looking. Cannot beat these knives. Yeah, it's the right one. And as you can see, they're using all state steel. I got the partially serrated one. And I haven't used it. <laughs> so it's extremely sharp at the moment. I just thought it was a good looking knife and everybody raves about them. So I went ahead and got one. I think it looks good in that coyote brown color or whatever it's called. I think it's what it's called. The second knife. This is a Maxpedition Alox. I believe it's what it's called. And I've always liked knives that are OD green and black. So It's a nice little, nice little everyday carry. Beater, whatever you want to call it. Not super expensive. I think these are about 35 or 40 maybe. Has a little bit of jimping on the thumb ramp. It's kind of slick though. Good little knife. Black clip again. Another liner lock. Let's see. This is a cold steel kudu. Or kulu. Is it kudu? No, kudu. And this has an unusual lock. I forget what they call this lock. It's got a pull pin on it, but let's see. Let me open it. They make another one called the Eland. It's a smaller, but this one I think has a five or five and a half inch blade. And these things are extremely light. They use a grivery handle. I guess that's their proprietary plastic, they call it grivery. Some kind of decorative design on it. <clears throat> it's got a picture of some animal on it. Like a gazelle or whatever the heck it is. Not sure what that thing is. And these things are super cheap. And they come sharp. But to get it to close, you you pull that out. And you push forward. And if you don't do it right, you'll cut yourself. But you can hear it clicking. It's got little notches. into the tang I guess where it rotates you can feel it clicking but it's a pretty cool knife I think you can pick these up for ten dollars or so maybe less next one is a CRKT this one is called Mata <clears throat> a lot of you may have heard of this one I think it's assisted though but it does not have a flipper it's just a thumbstead I thought that thing had a pretty cool blade on it. Skeletonize the G10 or into a carbon fiber look. Pocket clip. One position only, I suppose. Yep, it's an assisted liner lock. Got a neat blade design on it. Just thought it was cool, so I bought it. <laughs> I think this one was a little more pricey. This one probably more like 45 or 50. But for 50, you know, 50 or less knife, it's not bad at all. Okay. This next one is huge. <laughs> it is a Colt. And it has some blue anodization on the liner, liners. And I believe they're using real G10 handles there. Because it feels like it. I like how they did that clip. It's kind of unusual. Deep ride. 
I just thought it looked good with that blue, blue lines, but this knife's big. Let's see if we can get an idea how big that damn knife is. <laughs> it's pretty damn sizey. <laughs> Hefty or whatever you want to call it. Got a big old hollow ground blade. Probably about a, I'm going to say about a five inch blade. Got Allen head pivot. And I just thought it was unusual, so like I said I like the way they anodize the liners and the, even the liner lock. And it's pretty stiff, and it's they made it pretty, they made it good. They did a good job with it. It's all put together really solid. Next one is Spider Co Resilience. There's a million videos on these on YouTube, so probably don't have to go into de too much detail on this one, but damn good knife. Cannot beat the deployment of the spider cut with a thumb hole. It's pretty quick. This one has like a four inch blade, and it came really sharp. Although I have stropped it good size lanyard hole you can change the pocket clip on this one in any four positions I believe but I just left it the way it was great knife for these are about forty dollars too and you can't beat that for that size spider coat's awesome and I have one more of these Crawford Caspers CRKT CRKT like I said, I think this is my third one. This is a Tam. This is the first one I got. I got it at a gun and knife show. I've got one with a green handle and a black handle. So this Tam was the first one I got. It has a plain edge. Like I said, you can't beat these. Also, it has a lock here. I forgot to mention that on my other one. This is a lock. It's called a locks locking system. It stands for the uh, guys the knife designers that made it or developed it. it was lake and walker liner let's see uh lake and walker knife safety i believe that's what it stands for yep that's a nice knife too can't can't go wrong on these for 20 bucks and they say crawford casper right there for the two designers I mean, I believe Amazon still has these. You can also change the clip on these, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Great knife. I got one more. Since I'm going to have a little time. This is one I've recently acquired. It's made by Timberline. Came with a super nice nylon zip case. Not super easy to get out of there, but this knife is. Let's see, is this knife? It says the uh, light foot full contact frame lock. And as you notice, the Smoky Mountain Knife Works had it on sale for nineteen ninety nine, but the MSRP, if you notice, is one seventy five. Now, when I called them, they were completely out of this knife at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. So, what did I do? I went to Amazon, and I paid about double that price. I paid about 40 for mine, but it was still worth it. And one of the reasons is they're using an IKBS bearing system, G10 handles, and let's see, G2 steel blade. Uh titanium liner and frame so you're getting a lot of high-end materials there for not a lot of money but this one is a flipper and it comes right out being ball bearing and all it just it is so smooth and just you just barely you just barely have to you know you can see it just falls right into place opens effortlessly 
I love that kind of a modified Tonto, Tonto design blade. Give you a look at the handles there. It's a textured G10. It's pretty sweet. Big lanyard. Big lanyard hole. You can only put that pocket clip in one position, but I like the way they mounted it. It's pretty neat. I think that is a titanium. I think that's a titanium pocket clip even. But D2, if you know anything about D2, it's hard, hard, hard metal. So it should hold it, retain its blade for a long time. I just thought that was a good knife. It's got a good feel to it. And like I said, for that price, it was it was on closeout, so. Anyway, I can't I can't believe that it came with that really nice sheath, so super nice sheath. So yeah, anyway. This is part one of my third case. Uh, I'm gonna try to finish this up soon like maybe the beginning of next week because got a lot of other stuff i got to do this weekend so but anyway i hope y'all enjoyed this uh i've enjoyed watching all your videos lately and commenting on them <coughs> and i uh, hope to be doing that for a while <laughs> so keep collecting and have a nice weekend, and I'll talk to you on the next one. See you.